Okay, so before we start judging, let's just think what would God say because he wouldn't be judging me right now. So currently we are in my closet. Um, it is very, very, very disorganized. So um, I decided to invite you guys along to kind of, you know, clean it up with me, you know, because why not? And we're going to have a little chit chat while I work on doing that. Um, I know y'all see me like pulling this out or whatever. I have not worn it. I just tried it on. And yes, it is on the floor. I wore it. That's dirty. Um, but anyway, so you guys, um, one of the things that I wanted to kind of mention, even though closet is terrible, this is my makeup bag, my little traveling bag right here. I take this bag everywhere. Oh, my heels. Yeah, but, um, let's talk about um the case of what is it casey grace skincare that i just posted a video about if you haven't watched it go watch it i think i'm gonna throw these away now the reason why um i asked have you guys watched it was because this is only basically day three of me using it now i was gonna do like a full month because i did buy two bars of soap if you guys remember I bought um, two bars of soap and like I said, I was going to use it all over on face, on body, all of that. And I showed you guys my dark marks where um, I kind of wanted to see change at and stuff like that. And I said I would give y'all an update once every month. Now, the update is coming early. Um, only because I feel like it wouldn't be an honest review if, you know, if something was going on and I didn't tell you and then you guys went out and bought it. Now, I didn't mention um, in the video that I have sensitive skin. I have real sensitive skin. So now when I say that, most of the time, even though, you know, my skin is sensitive, <clears throat> I am normally able to use certain stuff on my face. You know, this is kind of what my closet looks like. <sighs> yeah, it's just kind of all over the place right now. Because, you know, when you work and stuff and you just throw shit around, that's all I really do. Throw shit around. But yeah, some of this haven't got folded. Um, it needs to get folded. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. Just throw all the shit down. Um, so, yeah, back to what I was saying while I get these clothes hangers. Now, back to what I was saying. Casey Grace skincare review. Minor update for anyone who doesn't know. I have extremely sensitive skin. Don't know why. I just can't use a lot of shit on my skin. That's my pajama. Um, now, with that being said, I did maybe a solid two days doing night and day using it. Which, usually, I don't use a lot of chemicals on my face. Really, I don't use anything on my face but water. A little bit of light uh, soap, which I kind of showed you guys in a video what I use. Usually, that's about it. I don't use anything else. But when day one, fine. You know, I had, it was fine. Like, it didn't even bother me. No burning, no nothing. You know, usually what you would get if your face was irritated. I didn't get any of that. Um, But day two came. Used it in the morning. It was fine. Used it at night, slight burning up in like this area. That's why I'm touching it. Day three, woke up. I was going to use it. I did not use it. Reason why I did not use it, 
my face was fucking peeling like an onion like i don't know but it was peeling like it was horrible 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 my face was so dry and it was peeling and it was just it was hurting i didn't know what to do i low-key kind of didn't want to go to work i still went to work because i have to uh-huh not because i want to but it was horrible like it's so rough right here now like up in this area where i told you guys like some of the areas where i naturally peel it anyway which i already had slight peeling right here but yeah it horrible 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 face still is fucked up um people was looking at me like what the fuck is wrong with your face i felt bad it made me feel kind of ugly just a little bit um i didn't like that and i said i wasn't gonna use anything on my face for the next couple of days until kind of the peeling has went away i said i was gonna exfoliate a little bit just a little bit to try to get some of this roughness down which that did work it's not hurting anymore um it's still kind of rough just a little bit but um for the most part i was supposed to get a lint roll um for the most part it has gone away I mean, not it's not gone away, but it doesn't hurt. It don't feel like, you know, how you put a face mask on and it's one of those ones where it dries up and, you know, like it gets tight and you can't move your face. That's how my, feel, my face was feeling. I was like, I know I washed all this stuff off. I know. Uh, second thing, um, I'm going to come back to that. Um, look at this. <laughs> It says, do not disturb my mind, my grind, my whole entire vibe. But I just, I don't know. My face is like, oh, just water, exfoliate a little bit. And I've been using just plain, raw, 100% shea butter on my face. And it feels so much better. It's still rough right here. Like, I'm starting to get pimples on my face. I don't like them. Now, for this stuff, which this is one of the other things that I had bought. Kind of get the name. It's in cursive, so I can't read it this way. Um, The KG Dark Mark Brightness Butter. It stains horribly. It doesn't like... Don't you know how I touched it and it was like, ooh, that feel good. And I could just rub it and put a shine on it. I used it on my armpits one time. I haven't tried to use it again because I don't know. I think I just want to buy like a black shirt where I would wear at night. Maybe like one or two just black, plain black shirts to wear. Because, yeah, I don't like, it just, I got a shirt that got orange things on it that make it like my armpits was leaking you know just orange shit but it made my armpits feel good it didn't irritate it or anything i didn't break out um but i am i'm not gonna say it's on a halt because i'm still using the turmeric soap on my body because it feels amazing when you use it on your body actually um i don't have any dryness no peeling nothing of that nature <clears throat> I'm trying to get this button. No dryness, no peeling on my skin anywhere. Um, yeah, it, it actually made my body feel good, but it just didn't work for my face. Um, most of the videos that I've seen for it, most girls used it on their face. I don't know if I just have extremely bad, not bad, because my skin, for the most part, I don't get acne or anything. So I'm not going to say I have bad skin, but... Yeah, I don't have bad skin, but it just, it wasn't working. So, if you have a sensitive skin to, like, extremely sensitive skin, please do not use the soap on your face. Now, do not, just don't even try it. Uh, because 
then like I said, I'm over here peeling like an onion and I don't, I just feel like ugly, just a little bit. Now, don't get me wrong, I saw some really good results. Just like I said, they ship the package fast and stuff like that. So I'm not saying don't try them because I'm still trying it. Um, I'm just not on my face <laughs> because yeah, I like my face. And my acne isn't that bad to the point that, you know, I, you know, that's all I can say. <laughs> shit. Like, my face ain't that bad where I just want to use shit that's going to fry my face off until, if anything, the only thing I really have that irritates me really bad is I get enlarged pores right here in this one little spot. Um, my nose peel whenever the weather change, regardless if it's cold outside, hot outside, or whatever. Uh, my nose peel, and I break out sometimes, rarely, on my forehead and on my cheeks, on the spots that I showed you. <sighs> yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on that. I was going to try to hold it off and keep trying it because I was like, maybe that's just something that the soap does. But my face was burning just a little bit. Not a lot. It was tingling. And yeah, I didn't want to keep, you know, I didn't want to keep doing that to myself. It was a little fuzzball. It still smells delicious, though. It smells like sweet potato pie. Mmm, sweet potato pie. Yeah, my closet is horrible. For anyone who don't know, I just moved. And, yeah, I don't have that much shit. I mean, I have a lot of clothes, but I don't have a lot of clothes hangers. I'm getting ready to order some from Amazon. And probably when I, you know, because that's really, I only got, like, one, two three clothes hangers left and I still got a ton of clothes that need to go on clothes hangers so yeah I don't know but yeah that's it I just wanted to give you guys an update on that and I'm probably gonna be making another video um I'm not I'm probably not gonna post this video today which it is Tuesday I'm probably gonna wait until Sunday to post it because I just posted a video earlier today um so yeah so and this ain't even y'all didn't even get to see my closet good i'm sitting here playing games eh. got them old lady knees i bought this for halloween but i never wore it my little old lady shirts jeans closet yeah all them black pants over there and then this stuff I just wash it and toss it up there, honestly. Black pants. I'm, all my colorful stuff. I don't know. I call this my little rainbow section. Because that's what it looked like. Yeah. That's not mine. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to hang these up. Bedroom is horrible. I wish I could sit you guys, like, right here. I wonder what that worked. We're just going to test it out, hopefully. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I want to organize my clothing. I don't have a clue. Um, I thought I did, but I don't like it. It's not working for me. So, yeah. Mm, my little sweater game. And I still have so much clothes I need to unpack, which I will... Where do I want to put this? I'll put this back here. Which I do want to give an apartment tour. But I don't have any furniture. Like, I got two little cute stools. You know, I'll give a semi... You know what? That's what I'll do. I'll give a semi-empty apartment tour. I don't know when I'm going to give it yet. Because it's not... 
quite looking how I want it to look. It's kind of horrible right now, actually. That's why I took so many days off work. I took five days off work. Well, really, it wasn't even that long. Maybe three days. To try to get organized. I thought I was. I started back working all over the place. I think my neighbor's singing. My neighbor is singing. <laughs> oh, yeah, I met my neighbors today. They were really nice. They got a cute little dog. Yeah. Let's hang this up here. Yeah. I'm ordering me some more hangers, though. And I need some lint rolls. I just need to go shopping, but... What? I'm ready to go somewhere. Shit. B. Um, I don't know. I'm just ready to get my life in order. Let me just say it like that. Now all that stuff I threw out here, I need to get rid of. Okay, y'all. So... The next time y'all see me, I will be giving an apartment to her. I'm going to give y'all that. Because that's going to hold y'all off for a little while. Give me time to get my shit together. And hopefully by January or Christmas, I will have um, some furniture. So y'all can, you know, see the place with furniture. Because I love my apartment. It's so quiet. The people are nice. They stay to themselves. They look like they like to have fun, though. Not due to the closet. Oh. Yeah, well, I'm going to be out. I'm going to um, hit you guys later. I talk like we're going to talk and text, but I'm about to sit here and watch SpongeBob and figure out life and drink this. The rest of this bottle of water. So, peace.